live from Soho, New York City. It's Wearable Electronics with Becky Stern. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. It's August 12th, and we're celebrating Wearable Electronics Live Show's two-year anniversary. That's right. Happy birthday, show. Yeah. You know what's cool is uh, we didn't really plan this. I swear we didn't, but it seems like all of the shows somehow get their start in August. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. so there's um, Ask an Engineer, which is celebrating six years yep. in August. There's Show and Tell, which is celebrating four years, four -ish years. in August. Um, 3D Hangouts. 3D Hangouts, one year. One year. Wearable Electronics with Becky Stern. Two years. Two years. Uh, Seems August. like every year or so, you, we just start a new fun yeah. thing that lasts forever. What I think happens is, as the company has grown, um, there's this like race, and then in August, we have a little bit of time to catch yeah, our breath. And true. then we say, wow, I have a little extra time. I know, let's start more shows. I don't feel that yeah. way this August, but um, I have, I know what feeling you're talking about. That, yeah. that like little bit of extra time feeling. Yeah, it's like, ooh, I know. I sort of remember what that's like from yeah. two years ago, August maybe. Yeah, <laughs> well it's just like, I can imagine another show. Right. And like, I would like to do another show, but I don't, yeah. I don't want to start another show yet. We can't yet. Yeah. But for now, we have so many shows. Um, anyway, yeah. let's get this party started. We're going to talk about some wearable electronics. Phil, what's on today's show? On today's show, we have Wearable Wednesday. We're going to debut a new project. Component of the week. We're going to talk about this new product. Tools we love. Phil's going to show you what's in his solar bag. Yeah, it's going to get, gonna a, get, it's gonna get, get serious it's in gonna here. It's going to get weird. OK. <laughs> Questions and answers. You have questions, Becky has answers. If you have any wearable electronics questions throughout the show or later on, you can ask them in the comments now or later on Twitter, Google Plus, or the Adafruit blog, and I will queue them up for a future show. I will put them into the Decky Burn hat and yeah. draw a name. Uh, well, I will answer them on the show, and then I will um, select one of you randomly to win a prize. This week, the prize is getting started with Adafruit Flora, a book by me and Tyler Cooper. That's right. All that and more on wearable electronics with Becky Stern celebrating two years. Um, first, let's uh, take care of some bills. If you would uh, like wearable electronics with Becky Stern to continue, you might want to buy some things from Adafruit, but you don't pay full price. Yeah, so everything but gift certificates and software expires 11.59 p.m. tonight. The code is compact. Um, one thing, because we're celebrating two years, we don't take sponsorships, we don't take advertising, we don't have any loans, no venture capital, we're completely independent. That is why we can do a wearable electronics show, because if we had investors and creepy dudes, they would say, why are you wasting time on this show? You should do a show about drones. Like, they, they would like that, because that's interesting today. Or why don't you do one about growth hacking or self-driving cars? Yeah, I know. Um, or like, why don't you do one about uh, Alphabet, Google's new thing? Like, they would, they, they, they're, they're, they're fruit flies. Right. And so we've, we're in it for the long term. Yeah, for sure. And so, um, Well, in the past two years, look at all of the wearables that have arrived. I was yeah. thinking a new show segment would be fun, would be the names of all the wearable startups and then mix them in with, you know, like font or cheese? Yeah. Do you know that? If you yeah. can think of a good um, thing that sounds like all of the names of the wearable startups yeah. that would fulfill. Yeah. Um, well, Cheesebit is a real company. Cheese bit, sure. Cheese bit, yeah. You get, sure. you get one of those goldfish crackers that it pops out every 14,000 steps. Yum. Because no. that's how many calories no, are it's, it's a Kickstarter. No, but you know what I mean, right? Yeah. Font or cheese? Yeah. Well, there, we were going to play this game. Is this really a company with all the companies that are in the, like, the DigiKey catalog? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> that's then, a good one, too. And then we had, then we had um, that segment. Aerostar or whatever. Yeah. And then we had uh, the, is it a Kickstarter or not? Right. No, that's we did cool. that, but I'm thinking of a new one to, to, to stump okay. you. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. I don't know. I was thinking, like, um... Pharmaceuticals sound a lot like the names of yeah. them, but I think that might be a little bit too depressing yeah. to, play, to play the Ulestra, like, like ugh. Yeah. <laughs> and like at the a food additive. Yeah, and, <laughs> and then at the end, there's like a witch's spell, like may cause our eyes to go out salamander yeah, so tails. Yeah, maybe not pharmaceuticals, but you yeah. know, I'm I'm brainstorming. Dark bats will come from the sun. Like it was I like, well, how is that? Segment to 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 bring it's 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 percolating. Anyway. Um, All right. Uh, yeah, so let's so let's talk about we want to talk about the customer projects that we've got yeah, going on. Yeah, we're we're gonna start it. So this is wearable Wednesday segment. Um, every week, uh, I think it's the best wearable electronics blog in the world. But we we have a set a special section just on Wednesday. Yeah. That we celebrate all of the cool projects. For sure. So here's a DIY project that Leslie posted up. This is um, Lena Wessong's jellyfish 
fiber optic dress. She's using like a NeoPixel belt and then um, has some really interesting technique for, can you go to the next picture? Yeah. There's a really interesting technique for joining the fiber optics to the NeoPixel strips with like clear heat shrink tubing and like make, creating these bundles that connect to the strip. And so she's made an instructable, so you can check that out. And I think it looks amazing. Leslie met her in Berlin and encouraged her to document her work. So good evangelism, Leslie. I had this little, um, Robot Jellyfish, mm -hmm. and I have this video, I'll show it to you later, and it was called Robot Dance Party. And it has my and it has the little robot. And it looks just like that just dress. Just looks like that. Well, yeah. you know, people ask me a lot about fiber optics, and I've never done a fiber optics project. And it, and it's because I have this like sharper image. Sorry, um, Spencer's gifts like t ticky tacky kind of like thing yeah. comes to mind with fiber optics. But I think Lena did a really nice job. Hot topic, perhaps. Yeah, um, just like not my style, not necessarily. Hot topic. Like, I'm just think geek. I thought Think Geek bought Hot Topic. No, Hot Topic bought Think Geek. Think Geek bought, no, Hot Topic bought Think Geek. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that fish ate the other fish. I mean, I just, like, good for Hot Topic for being around. Like, when yeah. I was growing up, there were, I mean, they, they have, like, they have market penetration. Yeah. So, um, yeah. in terms of, like, it's cool to see weird alternative fashion in a store. It just, it just validates yeah. your, like, opinions about, but anyway, it's rather mainstream for what it is. Yeah, I think uh, Think Geek getting acquired by them is gonna be interesting. It was going to be GameSpot, which oh, is kind of, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can see that. Mm, but I would hope that now you could get a Tauntaun sleeping bag at Hot Topic, which would be yeah. pretty cool. If you want to keep track of all this, the Maker Business section is pretty good, too. <laughs> yeah, on the blog. I, I mean, you that. guys should read the Adafruit blog all the yeah. time, not just Wednesdays. Anyway. In other news on the Adafruit blog, uh, Jess posted up this message from Michael who went to Gen Con and he wrote, he wrote in a message that I would like to read to you. Yeah. He said, submitting this to Becky with much thanks for making awesome projects for us to modify and turn into our own. I used a combination of Gemma, Trinket, NeoPixel rings, strips, and individual NeoPixel LEDs to make these various items that rocked the Gen Con crowds and several new... Uh, several news photos and magazine photographers. So thanks for that, but also awesome costumes. And there's a video too on the blog post. So is Gen Con like a steampunk type yeah, thing? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And so that's a lot of NeoPixel goggles. Yeah. That's cool. You can see some on the on the corset here too. Yeah. And the belt. There's like all kinds of props going on. Good work. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. If you want, we always like to see your projects. So this I think is yeah, like also like super rad. Um, this mohawk hoodie with NeoPixels is by YouTube user The Crafty Avenger, and um, I see some really nice like Phil B Theater Chase NeoPixel sample code going on up yeah, there. That's cool. um, it looks really really good. So what I would imagine it's a strip of NeoPixels with just like a strip of faux fur sewn on onto a hoodie. Remarkably simple, very effective. Brought a smile to my face. Um, thanks for sharing. Faux fur. Faux fur. Faux fur. Faux fur. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay, right. this is the setup for this week's project, which is this makeup compact mirror that we modded with LEDs and a Adafruit Live Poly charger. So you can like, I realized that like Andrew um, T would probably like to use these two for little like photo lights. Oh yeah, that's cool. What's amazing is how advanced this would be like 10 years ago. This would be like the spy spyest spy gadget. Now like. I see that you can definitely get a light up compact makeup mirror, but not as cool as this and not as rechargeable as yeah, this. Make it and um, and it's yeah, really it easy to make it yourself. So um, we have a video that that will show you how I made this. And um, yeah, we can we can watch it. Let's roll it. Okay. Here's a portable project to shine some light on your face. Whether you use it for checking your makeup or taking photos, this simple soldering project uses a compact makeup mirror outfitted with Adafruit LED sequins and USB rechargeable Live Poly battery circuit. Let's get started. You can find all the parts and tools for this project linked in the complete guide on the Adafruit learning system, as well as a circuit diagram, all at the link in the description. First, stabilize your wobbly compact on a towel and with a weight to hold it steady. Use E6000 adhesive and a toothpick to glue the sequins in place where they won't prevent the compact from closing. Tweezers come in handy for fine-tuning their positions. Let the glue dry before proceeding to the soldering step. Trim the leads of the clicky on-off switch and tin both stripped ends. Solder one switch wire to ground of the Adafruit Live Poly charging board. This project isn't very complicated, but requires some finesse during construction. The wires are too long, the compact won't close, and a wrong move with the hot iron could cause some cosmetic melting to your project enclosure. All the LEDs are wired in parallel, which means that all of the positive terminals are connected to each other, and likewise all the negative ground terminals are connected to each other. 
it's easiest to twist and tin two wire ends together before reheating to join with a tin solder pad on the sequence. Thread the two loose wires through the hinge to the other side of the mirror, where the positive wire is soldered to the back connection on the circuit board, and the negative wire gets a bit of heat shrink before being soldered to the second switch lead. Plug in your battery and test that your LEDs turn on before sticking the components in place with some foam tape. And there you have it, your own light up USB rechargeable makeup mirror. Let us know what electronic projects you're making on our weekly show and tell hangout on Google+. And please subscribe for more project videos from Adafruit. Okay, and we're back. I can't. Phil showed me a robot dancing robot dog video while we were while we were with, away. With it, I was I wasn't kidding. The jellyfish was dancing and it was underwater. It was a robotic jellyfish. Do you want me to re remake that project? Underwater dancing LED jellyfish. Um, maybe. Anyway, so um, the makeup mirror is really effective if you are like. Uh, like me and your skin, your makeup looks different in the dark than in the light um, because your skin is so vampirishly pale um, and you want to double check it in a dark restaurant bathroom or you just want to like take better selfies or usies. Um, yeah. It's a fun project and it's really easy and fun to build so you don't need to do any programming, it's just a little bit of soldering. It is some delicate soldering so if you're looking to like, like have some you know, show off your soldering skills. This is a yeah. good project because you make sure that your wires are the right lengths and stuff. And um, you can make your own with the tutorial on the learning system. It has links to all the products, including the makeup compact, which I got for $8 from Sephora as just this like empty blank yeah. makeup case. And it actually still has room for the makeup in it. And this is uh, Shishido. Do you consider yeah. them a premium brand? Yeah, like, sure. They make good stuff? Yeah, yeah. Well, they, the, the my eyelash curler and my eyelash comb are both by them and they're very high quality, nice yeah. tools. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I, I told you the story in Tokyo on the Ginza strip where they have like fancy stores and fancy restaurants. Mm -hmm. Shishido has a restaurant yeah. and it's amazing. And um, I had this, uh, it was, it's uni, which is looks like a Muppet tongue, right. like an orange Muppet tongue. Yeah. But, 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 so good. but before you get to that, it's this giant spiky thing. And they served it as the, as it's, as it's. And then they cracked it open? Yeah. And, it was, and it's like, here comes a spike ball. Yeah, and, see you, Yeah. And I really liked it because everything I like is spiky and hard. And on the outside and <laughs> gooey and gooey and umami flavored on the inside. Pretty much. So, okay. And bright orange. I'm bright orange on the outside. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're spiky and bright orange. <laughs> All right. Only a little prickly. Yeah. Okay, if you want to get the supplies for your own makeup compact, you can get 10% off with code COMPACT. Um, yeah. It's a pretty inexpensive build in terms of the materials you need. So, um, really good introductory project. And uh, okay. I hope you enjoy. All right, component of the week. Okay, this one I wrote down some notes about because because I'm studying. It's back to school time, so everybody needs to be studying. Mm -hmm. um, For your Bluetooth class? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I need to make sure I get it right. Okay. okay. This week's component of the week is a new product, um, and I believe you'll be speaking about it on Ask an Engineer later. So, so yeah. if if my synopsis is not doing you justice and you need more information, I'm sure that Lady Ada will be dropping some knowledge. Later. This is the Blue Fruit, uh, Adafruit Blue Fruit LE Micro. It's a Bluetooth low energy module and an Atmega 32U4 uh, microcontroller in one board, uh, which makes it super convenient for adding to your wearables projects. I know it's not a floor, we have a Flora and the BLE, and those are for conductor thread um, and beginners with large solder pads. This is a really good module for, uh, for making advanced wearables like the Guggen hat. Remember the um, LED display uh, top hat that has a Leonardo, or sorry, an Adafruit, what is it called? An Arduino Micro and a Bluetooth module. Yes. So this is the, um, this uses the NRF 51822 chipset from Nordic, um, and it's like a combination between the Leonardo and the um, Blue, the SPI Bluefruit friend. So you can receive uh, strings, strings of text through the um, app over the UART in order to like put the string of text on your hat. You can also use it with our Adafruit BLE Connect app to send a color through the color picker or all of the sensor data from your phone, including your um, your gyroscope, your accelerometer, and your, your compass and your GPS module. Yeah. And then also Bluefruit Connect, like an HID keyboard heart rate monitor, URI beacon where it just sends out a URL, um, and it has wireless bootloader updating. updating. Yeah. Basically, it's an Arduino-like entity with a Bluetooth, Bluetooth LE-like entity. So it's all in one. Yeah. So that means that if you wanted to say make your like LED sparkle prom dress, um, like change color when you shake your phone, 
this would be the board yeah. for you without because then it requires minimal connection to other things. And then you can also add a LiPoly backpack on top of it yeah. to make it uh, USB rechargeable. We've so thought about it all. I'm sure we'll be seeing some 3D printing projects with it soon, enclosures for um, maybe an upgrade for yeah. the uh, little keypad, what this Bluetooth is keypad. All kinds of fun things. If you want to make a wearable, a small, very small board wearable yeah. um, with silicone coated stranded wire and you want to control its features with your phone or tablet, iOS or Android, this yeah. board is great for you and it is in stock right now, which I can't say the same for later tonight. Probably not. They might be all out. So, right But you could buy it now. You're getting a special preview, right? No, no, no. They've been in stock yeah. since yesterday. Um, yeah. And you can use 10% off, get 10% off with code Compact. It is the best low cost Arduino compatible plus Bluetooth low energy out there. Super cool. Hands down. I know there's hands up, but those hands need to go down. <laughs> there's no hands up. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's a really fun product. I'm, I haven't played with one yet, but I am excited to build something with the yeah. with the new Blue Fruit LE Micro. Okay. So it was a love. Okay. This segment, Phil said, "Hey Becky, can I show you guys what's in my solar bag?" And I said, "Can yeah. you?" So this is Phil's. Solar bag from Voltaic, and what are you going to show us yeah, about so, it? Yeah, so um, it's a wearable because I wear it. It's a yeah, bag, right? Yeah, carry it around. And uh, it's got batteries. To me, it's a wearable. Yeah, <laughs> so it's it's summertime in New York, and um, I have a window in, in my apartment, and I have a window here, and so this is um, this is one of this is one of the original versions of the Voltaic solar bag. They've since updated it. I have an older one. Um, it doesn't matter, and I'm going to put it over the overhead. You can. Uh, yeah, there you go. So uh, here's, you know, it's an. It's, I feel like I'm driving the truck. Yeah, now. it's a, it's a really nice panel. It's very solid. Um, one of the things about it is you can hook up the LED to show that it's getting a charge. That's so, a pretty fun feature. Yeah. Because the solar panels themselves, they don't, you can't really tell if they're active or not. Yeah, and uh, there's a couple things that I've done to it uh, that's a little different, but I wanted to show just like straight up stuff. So you unzip the sides. The solar panel can come off, but I don't do that. Um, and then inside my bag, what do we have here? So we have a few things. Um, I have, let me see if I can get this. I'm going to turn off the autofocus lock. Yeah, there we go. Um, I have a few things. So uh, one is a pen. Um, I think it's always a good idea to have a pen everywhere. Um, this is from, Lamore did a talk at the Rockefeller Foundation, and they had nice pens. So, um, so I took it. Uh, <laughs> and then in the, the pocket, um, I have a ginormous amount of keys, because Adafruit has a billion e keys. Yeah. And then I'm also the IT person here. So I have, I always have a coupler for um, uh, hooking up Ethernet. I know whenever I need an adapter, yeah. I go and ask you. And yeah. I usually, I have so many adapters, but you have more than I do. Yeah, and then I have one for my <laughs> Mac that goes from Thunderbolt to Ethernet. Um, I have an iPhone uh, cable Power also for cable, iPhone. important. Um, yeah, I w always have a set of headphones. Um, with me. Um, I have these charge cards uh, which allow, they're very flat versions of cables. So I have one for an iPhone and one for... We carry um, those in the store. Yeah, for this is uh, USB micro. USB, micro yeah. yeah, that's for like every other gets for your hotspots and stuff. Yeah, and then I have another micro cable business. for um, another micro. And then this is all of the emails from Hillary Clinton that she's turning over. Um, and then I've also got a couple <laughs> extra panels. So the thing that's cool about so if you camp out, you can spread those out and get even more charge. Yeah. So if I if I decide to deploy my bag, um, one of the things about it is what deploy it. Well, yeah. Yeah. If I deploy yeah, my like bag, set it up. Yeah. So this is because I have the older bag. Um, Lamore, Lady Ada made me a um, an adapter. So this takes that solar panel, puts it on here, and then I can hook up these additional panels. And get more juice. More juice. So yeah. if you're camping out, you set them up. Yeah, and we're, what this goes into is this Voltaic battery, and I'm going to unplug it here. So this is the big battery that all charges. You can see I keep it topped off with the, um, the sun. And um, the other thing the battery can do is uh, charge a laptop, and then this is a cable that is uh, hey, look at that merged cable. together with... Um, that looks like, that's yeah, fun, with the MagSafe connector and then the female plug on the other end for yeah. hooking up to the battery. Yeah, and the other thing I have is two different hotspots um, from They're two on, different networks. Yeah. Um, I've lived through Sandy and had to run Adafruit What's remotely. What's the non-Verizon one? Uh, this is a Sprint. Okay. Oh, sorry, T-Mobile, T-Mobile. Oh, this right. is T-Mobile. Um, I have a Sprint one, but um, we rotate them out with the team. 
And then I have a business card holder that has uh, my business card and, you know, it's a little circuit board. I got this as a gift, I think, a million years ago. People, and, I have circuit board coasters, you know, like that people get, and the circuit board socks. Yeah. People give you things um, either with your name on it. You I also like computers. Have, I also have that, oh my God, Becky shirt. Yeah. And, and with, and with yeah, so you like electronics. Here's a yeah. business card holder. Um, sunglasses. That's important for um, if there's... Yeah. Smoke or debris, not smoke, but debris <laughs> um, in the... A charger for the battery if I don't have sunlight. Mm -hmm. um, a unicorn horn, that because I was taken home. Um, <laughs> you just... Yeah. you got to tell me that you keep that in there all the time. Yeah. A unicorn horn for, um, for getting out of sticky situations. A Kindle, a Kindle Paperwhite. And I'm reading some crummy book um, right now, but it's fine, because I just read business books. And then um, the other thing I got in here is a Sharpie, because, oh. yeah, this is a Magnum Sharpie. Yeah. So if anything I have has logos on it, or if I have to write something down, I just black it out. Well, I was thinking you could use it to make a sign if you were in trouble. Yeah. A foldable umbrella, in case it rains. Um, I have a selfie stick. For I have rides For just about anything. Uh, a power charger for my laptop if I need to plug in somewhere. And then, so that's... So you're just carrying like a whole bunch of lithium is what you're saying. It's just like everything yeah. in there has a lithium battery. In yeah. It. Um, on, my, on my phone, I listen to lithium from Nirvana. Um, <laughs> and so the next part of it is um, I have other stuff in here like... Um, this is if my wrist hurts, because sometimes my wrist hurts, I have a little wrist brace. Um, so that's, that's most of the tour. Um, the other thing is, um, this is a salad, um, and I put it in a native fruit bag because if I don't want it to leak or anything. So there's like lettuce in there. That's just lunch. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's not like permanent leave in your bag salad though. That's like today's lunch. No, I take I I would not leave it in there forever because that'd be weird. It's um, not like freeze dry yeah. emergency salad. And so the other thing, it's just today's lunch. Yeah, the other thing um, I added this water bottle holder um, on here. And then um, there's a water bottle in here. What's in the other one? You have a Leatherman or something? Yeah, and the other one I have. So I have to carry stuff for L'Amour. So this is um, this is from an event I went to in 2001. It's a multi-tool that has everything. And then a corkscrew, very important yeah. for picnics. And then here's L'Amour's pepper spray, because sometimes yeah. you have stalkers, and we don't like that. And I we might also have to carry <laughs> pepper spray with me at all times, FYI. Yeah, so... Um, it's illegal to buy in New York, but it's not illegal to have. No, it's not illegal or to buy Or it's illegal to sell it? No, you have to go to a registered place right. and show your ID. Okay, so it's hard to buy it, but yeah. it's, not, it's illegal to ship it from Amazon. <laughs> um, they have to record you right. um, who you bought it from and when. Sure. So there's... Uh, there you, are restrictions, but yeah. it's not illegal to carry it around no, in not New York. No, not at all. And I think it makes me feel safe. Okay. On my keys. Anyway, thanks, Phil. That's so <laughs> cool. Um, I like the both the gadgety part of it and the survival part of it. You know that I'm kind of a survival nerd yeah. as well, and li and have also lived through Hurricane Sandy. Uh, Phil kind of bailed me out of Hurricane Sandy a little bit. Uh, thanks for that. Yeah. And um, uh, like to be prepared for never having to feel that way ever again. Well, you know, we're we're New Yorkers, <laughs> so I was here um, on September 10th. Um, and I left the day before September 11th. I was at the Woolworth building. I would have been. Yeah, you were right. I would, have, I would have been running around. So I've always kind of knew. I always kind of known that um, at any moment I might have to bail. Right. And so I need enough stuff to keep the company going because we have yeah. now 84 people I'm responsible for, and I don't want communications or power to be the reason I can't sure. help. And what we experienced, both of us, during Hurricane Sandy was that it wasn't that there wasn't power anywhere, it's just that you couldn't stay where the power was like forever. So you might be yeah. at a hotel or whatever and you need to charge up and then leave, or there wasn't power at home so you need to go someplace else and charge up. Um, and that's where the solar thing can really fill in the gaps. Um, yeah. We have a couple solar projects in the learning system you could use to build your own solar bag. With, and we carry the solar panels from Voltaic. They're really high quality and waterproof. Yeah. So. Okay. Super cool. Let right. us know what's in your solar bag. Some of the things they think you can kind of buy, uh, just go to solar on the site and you can get code compact all the way up to 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. It's question and answer time with Becky Stern. Okay, you have questions. I have answers. And one of you will win a copy of my book. Okay. First question. I'm going to be conducting a four-hour wearable workshop with kids and trying to think of a fast way to get great immediate wearable results. Has anyone tried to hot glue EL wire? I realize it might melt, but maybe at a low heat setting it might work. It would be faster than using E6000, which takes 24 hours to dry, and also faster than sewing. 
Any thoughts or options? Thanks from Janice B. Janice B. Janice B. So um, it is widely understood by fans of this show that I have a very disparaging attitude towards hot glue, and it is for an earned reason. That stuff sucks. It's like, it's fast, but it can burn you while you're using it, and then it's gonna break immediately. So it'll give you immediately wearable results. It'll also give you immediately sad children. So um, what I would recommend is to just please do the sewing. Like, if, it, depending on your design, it's not really that much sewing. And the tutorial I'd ask you to look at is the EL Wire Christmas stocking, because what it, what it is is you make a fun word or design in the EL Wire that's pretty compact and overlappy, and then you just sew it down with like four tack stitches. It, that is honestly faster than hot glue, and it's gonna give you a more durable result, a very immediate result that doesn't have any risk of um, burning. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can stab yourself with a needle, but I don't think that's as bad as being burned by a hot glue gun. And um, kids have fine motor skills, and once they learn how to sew, you said this, they'll have it for the rest of their lives. Yeah, this is kind of a crossroad for your students. If you teach them a skill like this in this wearable workshop, they'll have it for the rest of their lives, where a hot, hot glue is, you couldn't, couldn't really do anything else. Like, there, it doesn't. You doesn't teach you anything. Right. I and think it, hot glue has an age limit, like in terms of practicality. Like, eventually you have to graduate to a more serious adhesive. Yeah, and also it like, as far as danger, hot glue is the the tip of the hot glue guns can really, really sizzle you. And so. I don't think, and it's hard to, to develop like some some nice artistry with a hot glue gun. Like, I don't feel like it's a very. Um, like, there are fine artists who actually build sculptures out of hot glue, but... Um, but it's hot glue it's, itself, yeah. Right, yeah, and it's about, it's a meta thing yeah, about hot glue. It's kind of like packing anyway. tape sculptures. Right, right, yeah. right. So, um, I would say that sewing is going to give you really immediate results, that it's much less messy, you're going to get a much cleaner result that lasts a lot longer, and so I would say it's definitely worth it, even if you have to go around and thread all of those kids' needles. I've been there before. I've done e-textile workshops where we do sewing with, with uh, usually not kids, but like, yeah. um, you know, 25 adults with bad vision and I need to thread all their needles for them but only once and then <laughs> so yeah. um yeah just don't please don't use hot glue it's not a good time please I wish Becky would tell us how she feels and not hold back so much okay <laughs> this is from D hello Justin and Becky I have a question can I power a neopixel jewel and a 16 neopixel ring with a pro mini 3.35 sure yes. just follow look at the um uber guide and um for how to power them, because you need to make sure that you're not um, trying to power, uh, provide all of the amperage through like a regulated, um, you know, microcontroller pin that can only deliver like 80 milliamps or something. Um, so you may need to do some uh, power routing, because I'm not familiar with the pin layout. I know that like Flora and Gemma have a dedicated high, you know, like straight supply to the battery, but the um, Pro Mini you might have to look at the circuit diagram and figure out which power pin is coming straight from the battery. So you can use that for your. Um, for power, but the signal should be no problem. It's just a regular Arduino, so um, yes, go for it. Share okay. your project with us. Next, uh, Borbel's question. I'm sewing about 45 neopixels on a floor to a sports bra for a Z concert. What cool. lipo battery do you think I should use? I want to I want it to be bright, but last all night. So I would say um, bright at, an, at a nighttime concert event is like uh, if neopixels go from zero to 255 brightness, like first dial down your brightness to like 80 or even 40. Um, and see what it's like in the in darkness. Darkness. Your LEDs don't have to be very bright in order to um, be very impressive looking. In fact, if they're too bright in contrast with your environment, um, they'll just look blown out in photos, and you won't be able to get any good pictures of it. Um, the battery I would recommend for you is this one, the 2500 milliamp hour Live Poly battery PID328, um, and the reason is because it's the biggest kind of like flat sandwich pack um, soft shell. Live poly battery we have, um, and then bigger than this, and you upgrade to those hard shell um, okay. like USB packs that we use for like Raspberry Pi that are good for like in a pocket. But if you want this to be like in the back of your sports bra, this is a good one because it's like chunky, but it's nice and it's small and light. Um, and then I would wrap it in like gaff tape or um, and plastic if you're going to put it against your sweaty body. Um, and I hope that your NeoPixels are on the outside of your sports bra, not like under your armpits where the conductive thread's going to get shorted out by your sweat. Okay. And I would love to see pictures or okay. video of your project. All right. If you have more questions, we can answer them another week. Next up, this is from Jeremy. I see a trend in wearable questions. How do I calculate how long a battery <laughs> will last for a given project? How do I calculate the current drop? Gee, Jeremy, we saw a trend in wearables questions too. And so we made this video called How to Battery Power Your Wearable Electronics Project. And it contains exactly that information. It's everything. Basically, you use. Um, it, it's, it's not even like as complicated as Ohm's Law or anything. You just, you just take all of the. Um, 
amperage specs of all of your components, like you say, oh, Flora, like when it's running, it takes, I don't remember how many, 60 milliamps. Each NeoPixel LED is up to 60 milliamps, depending on the color and brightness. And then you like add them all together, and then that's your total number of, of milliamp, uh, milliamps that you need to supply. And then the milliamp hours is how many hours at that number of milliamps it will supply. So. Um, you just add them all up. If you want 45 neopixels, you have 45 times 60 if you want them on full brightness, plus your flora and any sensors you have, and then you need a battery that is at least that many milliamps to supply even that current, and it'll last an hour if it's... Okay. I'm just complicating it now. You should just watch this video that I made, which is very clear. It had a script and everything. Yeah, it was fact-checked. <laughs> it was... <laughs> we had a... It had no rambling or repeating itself whatsoever. We had people looking at it and reviewing it. Yeah, well, and Andrew shot this it. one, too, so it's really yeah. beautiful. We, um, we did it in one take. No. No, I did it in many takes, but it's scripted and edited, so it doesn't. It's, and no one knows. Everyone knows. No, they know. Okay. Um, anyway, so we made that video. Check it out on our YouTube channel. Um, and in fact, it's one of those videos that doesn't have a guide in the learning system, and that's why I think it's yeah. hard to find, right? So I need to make yeah. a guide for it in the learning system, so that when you click on wearables, uh, you see all of them, including this video yeah, that doesn't have its own it's guide. On your list it is on my list. Okay. No, it's already on my list. Remember? Okay, it's a list. I read it to Phil on my to-do list from last week. Okay, so this is this is a boomerang <laughs> to-do. <laughs> Throw it and it hits me in the head. Oh, okay. uh, I mean. So, um, you know what? Let's give away something. Oh, okay. Let's give away time. Okay. All of you have been, your names have been put in the sticky bird. So hat. Anyone who asks a question, their name gets put in this hat. They get their question answered and they get a chance to win a prize. And then guess what? Like, inquisitive people are rewarded more because the more you can ask as many questions as you want yeah. and enter again next week. So, like, Please, let me tutor you through your project and make you eligible to win a prize every week while you're at it. D. Conlon, who asked about the NeoPixel Jewel and the 16 NeoPixel Ring with the Pro Mini 3.3 volt. Congratulations. You have won a copy of Getting Started with Adafruit Flora by me and Tyler Cooper. It should answer many of your NeoPixel mm. powering questions and hopefully get you onto a Gemma or a Flora. Okay. You know, no bias there at all. All right. <laughs> uh, email support at adafruit.com to claim your prize. Okay. Don't forget, if you didn't win, you could still win big by putting the discount code on Compact on checkout. 10% off all the way up to 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. But there's more if you want more. There's more. Tonight, I need to update this slide with your new Ad Ask an Engineer yeah, branding. Yeah. Did Bruce make one yeah, that was yeah, like this? Yeah, okay, yeah, with yeah, the, yeah. both the show yep. and tell and the... You got it. Great. Um, stay tuned tonight for a show and tell. Um, it's fun to watch if you've never shown off anything before. And then if you have a project to show off, you can just RSVP on the Google Plus event and we'll add you to the circle. So You'll get four years. Yeah, celebrating four years of, of showing and telling electro wearable, I mean, other and other electronics projects Yeah. on the show until um, check that out at 7.30 tonight, P Eastern Standard Time. And then um, tomorrow. And then Ask an Engineers right after that. And then tomorrow is 3D Thursday. So the blog has 3D posts, and Noam and Pedro debut a new the, project. The, it's Talking D20 week, it's right? It's Talking D20. The Talking 3D printed D20 that plays sounds, that tells when you what you, number it when rolls. When you roll the dice, it talks. I mean, like, not only is it funny and cool and looks like it's fun to build, but like, it also makes Dungeons and Dragons more fun for blind people. It, it's just, a, <laughs> it's universally loved. So um, I think the guide is already up if you want to like take a sneak peek on the learning system. But join definitely join Noe and Pedro tomorrow for their 3D Hangout show where they'll talk more about that. And subscribe to our um, channel on YouTube so you get notified of our new project videos as soon as they come out. You can set up like custom email notifications and all that okay. fun stuff. Um, and um, yeah, That's it. we're going to keep on keeping happy, on. Happy two years. Thanks. We'll See, because I'm bad about August birthdays. You have an August birthday. Yeah. Speaking of which, Phil had a birthday. Happy yeah. birthday, Phil. Thank you. And. I have a January birthday, so like in the summertime, I'm not thinking birthday. Let me tell you about summer birthdays as a they child. Suck, right? <laughs> okay, I've so heard that they all suck. year long, everyone's like, "Happy birthday, Jimmy! Happy birthday, Sally!" And then if your summer birthday, they're like, "Ha ha! Nothing for nothing you. Nothing for you. Nothing for you." If it makes you feel better. I couldn't go outside and play on my birthday because it was always like snowy, unless it was like a sledding birthday party. I don't, I'm not gonna. If you want to play, I don't want to play wanna childhood. You want to play? No, okay. I don't. I don't. That's what I thought. I thought we're just talking about birthdays only. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, yeah, Mr. Man. Black and Gray Unicorn. Yeah, man. Like. Just I could tell you, but. Um, okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. There is this one. Time. We'll continue okay. this conversation later. <laughs> All right. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye.